Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. We've got a brand new box. We've got the Annihilate EX promo box featuring the full evolution line of Mankey and a whole new like design of the promo boxes. So we're gonna be opening up that today and down here, we've got a few other things because we don't only wanna open four packs. I really do love the promo cards, like this like galaxy foil that the that the hollow ha has. Oh, there's a big old swirl right there too, like see that? Right there? Nice. So inside we've got four packs, kicking it off with some Paldea Evolved. Four packs inside, we've got Paldea Evolved, we've got Scarlet and Violet, and a Lost Origins pack. At least for me, I did pick this up at Walmart. I don't know if there's going to be a variation between them, but just a heads up. There may be some differences. But uh, I'd, first thing I noticed is these boxes are very small. Makahita, uh, Knackle, Knackley. Sable Eye Holographic. All right, I was hoping we would get something right out of the gate, but you know. So I do like that they are doing these smaller boxes now because I mean it's a hell, it's it's a lot of lot less waste basically because these were packed pretty uh, pretty tightly. We'll say there uh, just wasn't as much wasted space in there, which means less plastic, less cardboard, which is fantastic because. It's a lot of recycling. Hariyama Holographic. All right, so far off to a cool start, but at least you guys are getting some code cards in there. Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Naya Lape also coming in with a whole brand new design to the promo boxes where it kind of has uh, more of like an action look to it where it looks like uh, Naya Lape's like punching through. We've got a Pachirisu also, which is super cute. The electricity right there is kind of making like a little bit of a heart. That's cool. And a professor's research. Not too bad. We finally, we got something. Very pleased. All right, Lost Origin. You guys remember Lost Origin? Seems like Lost Origin has been making a pretty strong comeback lately with uh, in the community. I have, uh, actually that was one set I did not open a lot of. I have a lot of the packs chilling and waiting. But I just uh, lost kind of. I, I lost my focus with Lost Origin. And we got ourselves the Pikachu. That was on the hit list because this card is super cute. And uh, hey, we got an Aerodactyl V. We got the double banger on the pack. And there's not a code card there because I already gave it to you. Alright, now getting into a few other things because I kind of had some stuff laying around and some new pickups. And so I wanted to uh, bust these open. And just like that with Movie Magic, all the packs are out. And this Lechonk eraser is amazing. Look at that. It's amazing. It's got some heft to it, it's a chonky boy. Extra code card for you. All right, Scarlet and Violet. Getting into the Eraser Pack. Back to school. Unfortunately, coming up very quickly. Flittle. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic summer. You've been having a good time opening up Pokemon cards, going on adventures. Let me know what have the hits been like for you lately. What have you been picking up? Always like to hear what you guys are uh, able to pull, because sometimes you guys have some really, really solid hits that uh, you're getting in these packs. So, Combi, starting us off. Jigglypuff, Girafferig, Tropius, Pyroar, Florigato, Mousehold, Artisan, Tarantula, and a Lowkicks. Alright. Uh, boom, code card. No, a little bit of a throwback with some Pokemon Go. A few leftover packs from uh, the Premier Ball. That came out a little while ago. Finally cracked that open. Needed it for uh, to get put on display. <laughs> but uh, lately, we've been seeing a lot of uh, news that people are. There's going to be a lot of reprints for uh, like Lost Origins. A lot of throwbacks to a bunch of different uh, like kind of popular sets. So be keeping an eye out. Like you know, I've been seeing a lot of like Silver Tempest, Lost Origin. So keep an eye out for those. Don't get scammed though. Like, hey, a V Star Mark. We haven't seen one of those in a minute. Just do your research. Make sure you're not overpaying for something, especially when something is just like widely available. No, that's one of my pet peeves with the hobby is just people charging too much for something when it's just there. So, uh, you may have noticed also we've rearranged the room. I talked about it a while ago. We finally did that. We've got uh, a whole different angle 
I gotta tweak it a little bit still, but let me know your thoughts down there in the comments. Onyx, Pupitar, and Dragonite V, which this was in the Dragonite V Premier Ball collection, so that's cool. Bonus code card for that one. A couple Silver Tempest packs. So, trying to get this desk back, uh, back up into shape. We gotta reconfigure it a little bit for like some streams and stuff. But uh, so far, another V-Star marker. So far, I am liking this a lot better. The room has a much better flow. It's easier to get in and out of, most importantly. So, this was a good move. And then we have a little bit better of a background for now. Meowstic and another Dragonite. It's holographic, though. And closing out this section with Silver Tempest, our Lugia pack. What you got for us? Code card? Noise. Okay. Losing my grip. Coincidentally, fighting energy. Matang, Fura Sode Girl, Lopunny, Solosis, Elgium, Zubat, Fungus, Sandy Gast, Growlithe, and a Verizion. Hmm. Next up, I got this Quick Ball from Walmart, and last time it had Evolving Skies in it, I wanted to try my luck again. But this video all started with Annihilate EX, so we're going to talk about our Pokemon of the day, Annihilate. Annihilate coming in at 3 foot 11 inches and weighing 123 pounds, Annihilate evolved from Primeape when the rage in its soul became too much for its physical form to contain. It gained increased power as a result of its spirit no longer being limited by the flesh. The rage that was bubbling inside fills its punches with force that frightens its targets to their core. Even back in the Sun and Moon days in the Sun entry for Primeape, it states that Primeape has been known to become so angry that it dies as a result. Its face looks peaceful in death, however. Which is super dark, but I like that they tie that into having the Pokemon get an evolution out of it. Like, I like when they do tiebacks to certain Pokedex entries to uh, influence what the Pokemon does, looks like, how it evolves. Like, that kind of lore, like, so good. Alright, let's crack open this Quick Ball. And we've got uh, we got the Evolving Skies. We'll close it out with the Evolving Skies. We're going to start off with this very curved pack of Fusion Strike. As I do, I'm maybe one of very few people that does enjoy the set. Although I do wish I had more of it completed because it's a big set. It's tough to pull. There's con some, some conspiracy theories out there behind it. But uh, hey, here we go. Shelter, Caterpie. That's a great card. Drill, Drillbur, Shinx, Vulpix, and a Holographic Starmie. Brilliant Stars, also great set. But good to know these these uh, Pokeball tins do carry Evolving Skies. I know there's been a lot of uh, old boxes kind of popping up from Sword and Shield era, like early-ish Sword and Shield era. So super interesting. I don't know if these are... I don't know who like lost a pallet of cards or what Pokemon's doing. Another holographic. All right, Evolving Skies, it needs to take us home here. We're looking for the last pack magic. If you guys need any card supplies, including binders, I do have a uh, vault promo code down in the description if you're looking for, for some great binders. They just announced their SV3 uh, that'll be coming out soon, uh, binder for Scarlet and Violet 3. But I've got a promo code down there for the website. Closing out on a Galarian Articuno. Well, let's get these cards into some sleeves and do a PokeWrap recap. All right, and that vault code is good on Amazon as well as you're checking out, so be sure to get that 10% off vault binder, some of my favorites. Dragonite was one of our big hits today. Great looking art. Aerodactyl also, I don't know, Aerodactyl always just looks freaking cool. He's very aggressive. And uh, this was a little bit of a toss up. I tried to like put these in like rarity order and into uh, how I like them. This was a toss up between Pikachu and the Pachirisu, which were both fantastic cards. Really stoked on that. There is also one final code card for you guys. So if you do like Pokemon cards and collectibles, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We do all sorts of cards and collectible content on here. Remember to let me know what you guys have been pulling. I need the, especially after this video, I'm gonna need some uh, inspiration. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.